Okay, it's been recorded now, eh? Okay. So relation, what is it, eh? Okay, the basics of a uh, relation, you must uh, be very aware about the concept of Cartesian product and also uh, function, uh, relation. Hari ni kita belajar relation, hubungan eh. So, two things first is the Cartesian product. Kena mahir. Kedua, function. So I will start first with some basics which is uh, let A equals to 1, 2, B let's say I take 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, what is A times B? So that sure. Eh! Slide nanti. Tengok, tengok saya dulu. Ha. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Dah eh? Ha, okay. So, asas kepada relation saya ulang ialah Cartesian product dan juga a function. Okay, so I start first by uh, recalling a little bit about the Cartesian product. What is A times B for this instance? Alamak, hang lah pula. Yang apa aku? Ya. Okay. I given A 1, 2 and B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At this time point, you should be able to find what is A times B. It's a collection of ordered pairs from the first element 1, 1. Ha, dia ada berapa di sini? Korang boleh dah jawab dah sekarang ni. Okay. Finish. Alright. These 10 ordered pairs. Uh, this 10 distinct ordered pairs, at this time point, it does not represent any kinds of relation. We just try to organize them together. However, there can be some relation associated to it. Contoh, kalau kita letak dalam bentuk domain dan codomain. 1, 2. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We try to assign 1 with 1, 1 with 2, 1 with 3, 1 with 4, 1 with 5. Although this is te technically not a function eh. Function dia mesti kita assign satu value kepada satu value saja dalam kod domain. Tetapi kalau kita membawa kepada penekanan ini, kita boleh menghubungkan sesuatu hubungan antara A dengan B. 2 kepada 1, 2 kepada 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5. So, a relation is actually, we try to map an element from A to B in the way such that A times B, okay, relation kita hasil dia ialah ordered pairs, element A, B. And then we try to define A, for example, eh, A, Relation dengan B. Okay, what is AB? AB is an ordered pairs that comes from the Cartesian product A times B. So, let's look at a simple example like this. Tak nampak lagi, saya faham. Saya ambil yang, yang ni tak ada contoh. Eh? Okay, ni, ni bagus. Okay, kita ada tiga elemen A, 
one, two, three. What are the ordered pairs such that this given relation, the outcome is the ordered pairs A, B, which comes from the Cartesian product. Ini dia punya uh, domain. Ni adalah relation represent by the predicate A larger than B. Ah, sekejap, saya silap bukan B kat sini. Sebab ada satu set saja, eh, satu set saja. 1, 2, 3. Saya letak A darab A. So, elemen kita adalah finite kat sini. 1, 2, 3. The outcome is the ordered pairs from the Cartesian product of A times A but the element of the ordered pair must be A larger than B. So, apakah Cartesian product A times A? Adalah 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, and lastly 3, 1, 3, 2, and also 3, 3. Okay, kita ada 9 order pass kat sini. 9 distinct order pass. Yang mana tadi saya terangkan, uh, Cartesian product, kita dah buat, it does not represent any kinds of relation associated with the elements uh, regardless from A or B. Ha? Jadi, ini adalah relation. You try to find the element of A which is larger than or equal to B. Jadi, R kat sini, you imagine A is the element from A on the, on the left, B is the element from A on the right, Okay, which are the from these nine ordered pairs which is A larger than or equal to B. Uh, so, kita check satu-satu. So, we start first with a fundamental one. One, is it larger than or equal to one? If the answer is yes, then it belongs in this relation. Okay, ingat ini adalah A. Ini adalah B. A ni datang daripada A ni daripada A yang kanan. A times A. <coughs> okay. One, two. Macam mana pula? One, two ada kat dalam. Okay. One is not larger than two. So, one, two is not inside there. So, no. One, three. No. Two. One. It satisfy this relation A larger than or equal to B. Ni, maka 2, 1 is belong here. 2, 2 belongs here. 2, 3 does not. 3, 1, 3, 2 and also 3, 3. So, for this given, uh, for this given defined relation A larger than or equal to B, this will be the 6th ordered pairs which originate from the Cartesian product A times A which satisfy this relation. In other words, any given relation must be a subset of the Cartesian product. Okay. So, let me test you uh, the same example, tapi yang lagi senang eh. Okay. Suppose this is the first R ah. Soalan lain, ni soalan lain. R2. Try to find for the same A times A. Relation ni saya tukar kepada A less than B. What will be the ordered pairs which satisfy R2? <coughs> one, two, one, three. Two, Thank two. you. One, two, one, three. Two, three. Two, three. Itu saja ke? Uh, yes. Okay. So, macam mana uh, 
akram ke musim saya tak kisahlah uh, macam mana akram atau musim mendapat jawapan ini okay again i repeat imagine this is element from the first do, uh, uh, set a this is element on the right from the second a such that the element on the left a is less than the element of b on the right so from this given cartesian product at the top here one is not less than one it's equal right so they tak satisfy relation a less than b that's why he did not put in the answer one is less than two one is less than three two is not less than one and two is not less than two and then he proceed with two is less than three and the other remaining <coughs> ordered pair does not satisfy the relation okay very good very easy right it's easy because this is a case of finite okay okay i would like to expand the thinking for you guys for a while eh? uh, saya ada buat video pasal relation nanti saya uh, tunjuk link dia saya masukkan dalam playlist uh, relation on finite cases is very uh, simple tak ada masalah sudah so, selalunya tak ada masalah uh, cuba saya buat lagi satu contoh Okay, A equals to 1, 2, 3. Okay, what is the order pair such that R saya define sebagai A, B such that ni 1, 2, 3 lah, kecil lah. Hmm. Okay, saya ubah sikit eh, soalan kalau saya dapat lah. A plus uh, 1 equals to B uh, Ni saya buat line sikit, harap ada jawapan, saya tak pasti ada jawapan lagi tak Okay The relation among uh, uh, two elements A and B inside here is that the B must be equal to the element of A plus 1 uh, to assist me to answer this question, it's always the best if you put the Cartesian product first. Ni tak wajib, tapi kalau letak lagi <coughs> lagi senang nak jawab. Okay, let's see one by one. One, one. This is A, this is B. Is it belong in this relation? So you can check sama ada B is equals to A plus one. Right now, the B is one equals to one plus one, which is not. Therefore, one, one does not belong in this R3 <coughs> dia nampak complicated sikit tapi kalau kamu tulis macam ni dia nampak ok let's look at 1, 2 again 2 is it equals to 1 plus 1 yes therefore 1, 2 belongs in this R3 How about 1, 3? Adakah B sama dengan A tambah 1? 3 sama dengan 1 tambah 1? No. So, 1, 3 does not belong in this R3. So, kita ada lagi 6 elemen kat sini. Yang manakah memenuhi persamaan ini secara keseluruhan? So, R3 ada apa? Ada 1, 2. Ada... 2, 3. Ada lagi tak lepas tu? Tak ada. That's all. So, this will be the elements of R3 which belongs in R3. <laughs> Sorry. 
ada setengah student kalau dia cekak dia boleh dapat terus tapi uh, saya uh, tak galakkan. Ha? Buat Cartesian product based on the fundamental knowledge is that uh, the R, uh, the relation must be a subset of the Cartesian product then uh, you boleh jadikan this one to be your guideline to find the relation, uh, the respective uh, ordered pairs which satisfy the relation. Okay, enough. Saya mengajak anda untuk berfikir secara infinite dulu. Okay, infinite macam mana? R, I define as an ordered pairs which is a Cartesian product between an integer times integer. Okay, infinite lah. Such that A larger than or equal to B. Saya guna yang sama dengan yang kiri tetapi beza ni kali ni ialah infinite. Of course, definitely I will not ask about to mention all the possible ordered pairs which satisfy in the relation. Kalau soalan macam ni, mustahil lah saya nak suruh you all list down all possible uh, ordered pairs kat dalam. Tetapi, what can I ask whether you understand this kind of relation or not is that I can ask like this. Is negative 100, 100 in R4? So, obviously, kamu tak akan buat Cartesian product daripada 100 ke 100. Tetapi, adakah negative 100, 100 satisfy A larger than O equal to B? No. Senang je nak verify. Kamu jawab no. Student kan, selalu saya tanya yes or no, dia akan jawab no. The thing, a very good practice from the proving method is that you reason yourself why it is no. Selalunya memang saya akan tanya, no because of what? It's very simple to show that negative 100 is not larger than 100. Ni. <coughs> Betul? Dan dia tidak dalam relation ini. I can also ask another question is 200, 100 belongs in R4. You just check whether the A here, this is B, yes, as 200 is larger than or equal to 100. Don't worry about the case of infinite. Infinite ni memang you tak nampak tapi you tahu dia punya properties. Alright, saya nak tanya beberapa soalan. Uh, nota ni memang saya kena Hai, saya pun pelik lah. Okay, tak apa. Saya ajar dulu. Nanti saya tambah elemen kat dalam ni. Saya tak tahu kenapa saya buang yang ni. Dulu waktu saya buat nota ni. Alright, tak apa. Uh, saya buka besar. Okay, for the today's lesson, saya nak habiskan dengan ini. Uh, hari ni hari apa? Kamis. Okay, selasa depan kita akan habiskan relation dan uh, kami lagi satu kita akan masuk nombor teori. So nanti uh, bila dah habis session ni tengok video saya juga untuk saya samuai selasa tetapi saya nak tanya soalan ni. A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4 cukup. Okay. Find the ordered pairs such that R equals to AB which stems from A times A. A is factor of B. Can you do that for me please?
Bila dah dapat, boleh bagi tahu atau boleh snap gambar saya nak tengok jawapan. Dah dapat ke? Mana muka korang ni? Thank you Akram Han Akram kena cek balik. Eh? Hmm, Akram kena cek balik. Ada ada terkela saya rasa. Ni Abang Musin. Abang Musin kita rasa betul. Hmm. Uh, make sure you you don't interchange A and B tau. Ha, sentiasa saya ajar student kalau nak senang, A is an element from the left, B is on the right. Senang. Memang kalau kamu tengok eh Uh, representation ini, or the pass A as an element on the left from the first set, B is an element on the right. Sekarang ni A adalah faktor kepada B, bukannya sebaliknya. Betul. So the element on the left must be a factor on the B, bukannya sebaliknya. Ha, so be careful. So Akram kena check balik. Oh tak payahlah delete. Okay, okay lah, delete lah, delete. Okay, ha. buat balik. Yang lain pun cuba follow. How how Mohsin can get that answer? Saya rasa Mohsin betul. Saya tak double check satu-satu. Saya check satu-satu jawapan dia. All the other pass that represented by him is correct. Tetapi adakah selalu saya tanya, uh, is there any more? Ha, dia kena check satu-satu. Jangan terlepas satu pun. Okay, dah dapat? Okay, so again, a best practice if you uh, list down all the ordered pairs eh, of A times A first untuk membantu kamu walaupun benda itu tidak wajib. How many ordered pairs are there? There should be 16, right? Okay, Hafiz, uh, okay. Hmm, Hafiz sama, Akram dan juga Arisa, okay cukup dulu. Oh Arisa ada liquid kat situ, mungkin dia tersilap kat situ. So make sure careful please. Eh? So there will be 16 listing order pass. One is indeed a factor of one. One is a factor for every possible number.
hati-hati kalau orang yang tak tulis quotation product dia ingat oh one five ada kat dalam five tak ada kat dalam ya yeah? Okay, one 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 two one three one four settle. So we go for two. Two. Tadi akram terletak satu. Adakah dua faktor kepada satu? Ah, bukan dia tidak. Maka dua satu tiada di dalam. Okay, two one does not exist there. Two two is a is there because two is a factor of two. Ah, huh? any number is a factor of itself. Benda ni kita akan belajar nanti. Uh, chapter uh, modul tiga. 2-3, no. 2-4, yes. 2 is a factor of 4 and 4 is a multiple of 2 back. Okay. Uh, is there more? 3-3? 3. 3. 3. Takde. The last one will be 4-4. Four, four. So ada 8. Saya so, cross check dengan jawapan kawan kamu. Very good. Very good. All right. Very simple. All right. Uh, let me bring you again to a concept of infinite for a while. Using the same relation, the thing that changed right now is the set involved is not finite anymore. Say ubah soalan. Alah. Ay, sini, saya ubah, sini. Okay. Benda ni penting sebab nanti kita akan relate dengan types of relation. If you don't try to think the concept of infinite, then it will be hard for you. Eh? So, saya cuba bawa pembaruan dalam semi. <coughs> okay. Ni tak payah buat, uh, cuma uh, saya mengajak anda berfikir saja. Okay. Okay. Prove that A, A is in R5 for every A in Z. Oh. Okay. Ni pengajaran masa depan tapi saya nak mengajak uh, korang tengok dulu. Okay. How to understand this uh, question? Eh? A, A is in R5 for every A which in the integer. This premise of A, A here it, it shows that A equals to A. Soalan ni dengan kata nama lain, kalau saya nak gambarkan, if I want to represent the thinking, dia nak cakap, prove that 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 100, 100, 20, 20, 20, 20, is in this relation. Uh, of course, there are many more AA inside this R5. This is some of it. Prove that AA must be in this R5. The reasoning is very simple, actually. Saya boleh bagi alasan saya, uh, al bukan alasan, apa? Reason saya, uh, the proof. Ha, ni mungkin Tengman sukalah cara kita nak reason ourselves. Okay? So, kita akan masuk definition. Okay, I must prove, need to show A is a factor of A. Okay, so apakah definisi faktor? A is a factor of B. If 
B can be represented as a product of A times C. This C must be integer. I need definition uh, general. Yeah. Okay. So I need to show A, uh, but based on this definition, huh, A is a factor of B. If B is equals to A times C, C must be integer. So I uh, say gunakan. Saya kena tunjuk A is a factor of A. Of A. If A equals to A times C, C adalah integer. So as A equals to A times 1, 1 is definitely an integer. For every A, which is an integer, benda ni a trivial eh, A equals to A times 1. So, terbuktilah A adalah faktor kepada A. As my conclusion, AA is in this R5 for every possible A. It might not be that long, eh, my explanation, but I show it step by step so the student can imagine that for the case of infinite <coughs> Cartesian product, AA must be in this R5. So, ini orang panggil sebagai the types of relation, this is known as reflexive ya. Yeah? Dan ni kita akan bawa hari Selasa depan. So cukup dulu untuk hari ini. Tak faham saya. Okey tak apa Akram. Ha, tak apa Akram. Ha, kita akan sambung Selasa depan. Tapi ada orang yang akan faham. Ha, tak apa. Don't worry so much. Ha, kita akan sambung lagi hari Selasa depan. Untuk case finite. <laughs> Tidak perlu. Senang je Akram sebenarnya. Okay, tak apa. Uh, untuk case finite ada masalah tak buat masa sekarang on how you to want to generate the ordered pairs which satisfy certain relation. Uh, kita kita ulang balik sikit. Uh. Hmm. Nanti saya akan share link uh, YouTube yang saya pernah buat untuk relation dan uh, benda tu cover semua yang akan kita cover selasa depan. Okay, jika tiada, uh, kamu boleh berehat dulu. Uh, get ready for... Hari ni hari apa? Oh, dah, dah test belum? Dah tak sign? Malam, sir. Malam? Uh -huh. Saya dah tengok soalan dia. <laughs> Saya dah share, tengok. Share, share. Eh, tak boleh, tak boleh. Skema, nak skema, nak skema. <laughs> oh, nak in? Mana? Dia hint dia Korang kena baca kan subjek tu kan So make sure you uh, remember all the The basic term yang Dr. Bazli dah ajar Basic concept yang Dr. Bazli dah ajar dah Dan uh, of open book tak tahu tanya lah Dr. Bazli tanya saya buat benda uh, The thing is make sure you read well enough You understand the concept uh, Jangan hafal uh, Saja tapi tak kerti apply dia ada soalan application. Banyak ke soalan uh, bagi saya nak mengarang tu lah yang mengambil masa. Uh, nak mengarang. Uh, so kalau kamu nak tanya tips, ni bukan soalan bocor eh. Tips je kan. Kau nak tips kan. Kena tulis tangan. Eh banyak pula soalan kau. Tulis. Tak tulis tangan tu boleh dengan benda. Okay. Uh, the tips is, uh, if there is a subjective question, which there is, <laughs> make sure you must put the concept. Maksudnya kalau soalan subjective selalunya uh, in any falsafah pun sama tau. Soalan falsafah, sejarah, geografi, data science, introduction to data science. When they ask for a subjective question, explain something. Explain this term. How this term apply? Kamu kena make sure ada kata kunci yang dicari Dan juga isi-isi yang berkait dengan kata kunci tersebut The thing is about the keyword Then 
explain in your own words. Ha, maksudnya ada keyword yang yang dicari dan kamu kena explain. Jangan tak explain, explain pun anda makah. Dan explanation must be related to the keyword, bukannya main menggoreng saja. Dan ayat kamu pula janganlah nampak uh, ayat buku teks yang menandakan mungkin kamu copy somewhere. No. It must be from your own opinion. When they ask about your opinion, it's really about your opinion. And your opinion must be some keywords. Uh, isi-isi penting dia lah. Okay? Uh, jangan, jangan goreng tak ada isi. Dan isi kamu janganlah berulang. Kalau soalan tiga markah, it expect for you at least to have the three keywords or at least uh, one keyword explanation. Okay? Hmm, itu sajalah uh, tips yang saya bagi. Uh, boleh berehat. Uh, good luck for tonight. Okay, that's all. Uh, I will stop present. Ada yang dah terkeluar pun. Okay, goodbye. See you next Tuesday. And have a nice day. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome. Thank you, sir.